morning, Mr. Phelps. Why the fuck did I bring my dream and stuff with me? <laughs> what is this? What am I doing? Back to the bank. So my gear is looking incredible for this Inferno run. I got a Tebow from the boys. They provided me with one. It's so scary to take it in multi though. Hopefully I can do this first try. I like, I should be able to if I don't mess up drastically. First time using the Tebow on Inferno, a 60. A 50. Oh my God, this thing is power. Got the new set. See how close that was for time. Oh my god, I'm actually. Oh, I'm so glad they spawned. I missed that prayer flick. I'm so glad. Right, okay. All I need to do is kill the range and I'm done. Come on, last it. Hey, there we go. Inferno cape. Easy. Four breeze, two restores, and I'm going to teleport straight out to returning ring. No one's here. We're fine. Oh, that's just a relief, honestly. <laughs> like, I should have done it before with an ACB, but whatever. We got the Teemo out, and yeah, supplies are looking booming at the end of that. So happy now. Yes, that's my cape for the 1v1 sorted. <laughs> Yeah, um, I was not paying attention there whatsoever. I just climbed into the tunnel without even looking. Um, yeah, I was kind of unavoidable. I got literally one banged. I can't even remember what I lost at the bank, to be honest. And I hope this cape is on the floor. The moment of truth, please imagine if it's not there. Okay, it's there. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> imagine if I got the cape. I literally lost it one minute later. I think I have most of my stuff in my deposit box. But I might have missed some things and kept it in the bank. I don't know. I don't know what I lost there. We still got the cape though. No way. The rebuild. Look at that. I got the dark bow. <laughs> oh my god. Every every monster in RuneScape has a chance to drop it on the rare drop table in Deadman mode. And I literally just got one of the best items, the dark bow off it. That's paid for it. That's paid for my death. Straight away. That's multiple mills right there. There we go. Tier 5 back. I was getting that back to get my uh, rune pouch back that I lost. I lost a whip, a rune pouch. Crystal shield and three to ten. So I probably lost about three mil. But the Debo kind of pays for that. And then the supplies are... Oh, uh, yeah. I lost supplies from my bank, I think. I don't think I lost anything important. I think it was all deposited. So we're good. And pitching myself one rune pouch back. And hopefully that's the last rune pouch I have to buy this dead man. Yeah. I just need to be a little bit more careful from now on. You can actually buy God and Pies in the cooking guild to boost your farming level by three. You need 55 farming to plant a mahogany seed, but pie up and there we go. They're planted. That is going to be some insane farming XP to get me towards 70. I don't even know if I can buy my crystal shield back without a seed. Please. Is it this guy? Please sell me the shield. I don't... Yes. Right. Okay. I thought I was going to have to do some mad Song of the Elf shit there, but Crystal Shield is back for 750k. Now that I've got the Inferno Cape, may as well go and flex it on all the boys at raids. Why not? First raid of today, and we got an Arcane Prayer Scroll. Very nice. That's going to get passed around to somebody. And I got some Death Runes and some Silver Ore. Nothing, even though it's 70% chance of a drop. That's a good loot for me, though. And... What? Nothing again? That's actually really unlucky. What the hell? Nothing twice in a row. What's the point of having an Infernal Cape without having some uh, very nice max strength bonus? For the first time this tournament, we're actually going to God Wars Dungeon. And it is a pretty risky mission, but I'm going to go to Bandos with a couple of the boys. And hopefully we can snipe a loot as they are four times more common in Deadman mode. So here we go. God Wars is super dangerous because the entire thing is multi-combats. There's aggressive monsters everywhere. And I'm about to get absolutely smacked. 
Bandos shouldn't be too busy though, because, you know, it's the least desirable out of a lot of them. It's mainly Armor and Sara that people go to. Everything's so sketchy, like I can just get wiped by a team for my super ravers, my crystal shield, I'm a banky right now. I'm still risking like two mil right now, so it's a bit sketch. So, someone said that Kabo was good DPS at Bandos when you're not tanking. I mean, I'm not seeing some good DPS right now. Oh, oh my god, oh, nice one. Matt just <laughs> fucking died. How the fuck did I know that was gonna happen? <laughs> oh, I just got Godslot Shard 2. No way. Oh, that's oh, yeah. crazy good. No Come way. On. No way. No way. No way. No way. So yeah, I fucked off the cow's crossbow and came back with a Statius Warhammer and a whip because that's a lot better DPS and also can lower down Gradle's defense and get way more kills per hour, but also risk a lot more GP. Oh, yes. Yeah, boys. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they got the YouTube thumbnail. <laughs> PCV, that's so sick. Yep, the Bandos chest plate plus four strength bonus to go with my plus eight of the Inferno Cape is also a really good tank plate body. I think it's got better range defense than any barrier's equipment. So it actually will be useful for maybe the 1v1s in tank v tank fights. You know how people bolt with their armor on and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, plus four strength as well. Really, really nice plate to get for all the PVM to come, Rune Dragon's Warcath, etc. So yeah. Really gassed to get that one. And that is going straight into the safety deposit box before I get speared for anything else. Yeah, not again. Thank you for the support recently, everyone, but I can't help noticing that a lot of you are not subscribed to the channel. So, what are you doing? <laughs> Oh, oh, no way! Oh. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> the hilt though, the hilt. Two drops in 29 KC at Bandos is not bad. The Bandos hilt is actually pretty decent for Vorkath and stuff like that, but I don't know if I'm going to keep it because, yeah. It's not, it's decent, but because the stat hammer exists, it's devalued a little. People can use it with PK in as well, like double G mall into God Sword Whack, that sort of stuff. And then we got... A God Sword Shard 3, <laughs> not the Tassies. I might go back for some Tassies at some point because that would look on point. So with all my new six strength gear, it is time to go and print some money at Vorka. This has actually been so much quicker. I'm using the Defender now and the Inferno Cape and the BCP and the Enchanted Salvameter. All, all those upgrades. Look at that. 128 is my new PB and that's literally my first kill back. I've made so much money in a minute. I got D legs and all that shit. Holy, this is going to be so fast to make some GP here. Hey, we've got a Dragon Bolt drop already. 89 Dragon Bolts. That's, uh, on my calculations, 89 mil profit right there. <laughs> we are going on a mass raid. We have over 20 people in this raid right now, all in Devman mode gear. Hopefully this goes well. We could get a fuck ton of points. The goal is to try and get enough points to try and get three drops at once because it's four times drop rate, so... We're going to need over 300,000 points. East side, the B side. Look at us. No ticks lost. Gamers. I haven't even done a Vazor in demo mode yet, but VLS absolutely shreds the crystal and you can just spec it down on stab. Holy shit. I just got annihilated. <laughs> no way we actually did it we managed to get a triple drop on deadman mode the omelet as well coming in with three items two prayer skulls and a kodai that was so much fun and it rounds off a really good day on the deadman mode tournament look at all the boys here lined up tim with his pet out at the front as well and everything <laughs> it's been so good <laughs>